I'm late. I'll go with you. Think these are better for you than like a bag of chips? Tell me, better, same, or worse? Comment below. I'm just waiting for a cab now. That's Strathfield. I've been late the last five times that I've met up with Michael. I'm gonna have to make some changes. I've said that a lot in this vlog, hey. Never make the changes. I never make them. job of explaining what yesterday was about. We traveled to from Sydney to Canberra to our capital uh, to go to GammaCon which is a gaming convention. I don't I'm not really into gaming. I do like the pop culture conventions though and this was a bit of that and it was good just to go on a bit of a road trip. I went with uh, all my cousins, you know, Michael, Damien and Robert. Robert's our de facto cousin. He's been in the vlogs before. They all have. I'm gonna be telling this story non-linearly uh, because a couple of weeks ago I did this. I have not said it in so many words, but one of the goals of this vlog was to play more. Self-improvement by public scrutiny. That was the idea. But instead, what I've wound up doing is editing more. Editing more. Uh, which was one of the goals. But it wasn't meant to be all the time. I cleaned off some old whiteboards that I used for uni and I drew myself a self-contract. Does that sound all right? I drew myself a self-contract? That just doesn't sound like... What is taking so long in this B-roll? <sighs> you know, they probably haven't been cleaned off in like a year, so I guess it takes a little while. Uh, what? It... Am I... Is that sex toy cleaner? I, that's sex toy cleaner. What? Like, that's not gonna work. What? Where did that come from? That was, that was an honest mistake. No, no, you gotta get the lens, the lens cleaner is what you really meant to use. So I researched and I compiled a list of things that I haven't done and I want to do and I always say that I want to do and I'm gonna knock one of those things off the list every weekend. And uh, here it is. Actually, no, this isn't it. This is Sex, Race and Empire. This is our uh, old... Uh, Uni subject that I did last year. No, no, the real, uh, the real contract is here actually. And, uh, and I'm actually, ooh, I'm not going to show you it. Uh, because uh, I guess I just don't want to talk about the things I'm going to do. Because that's just as good as not doing it. But at the moment it's called the leave the house contract. And I have signed it. I've got to get that ham out of the, my bag. Ah! I always forget. Well today, I had the Sunday free. Today is Sunday the 5th. This isn't exactly how I wanted to start this, but this is what I'm doing. Seeing the Real Bodies exhibition, it's something that I, I've wanted to see since like 2006. I was like 15, 16. I saw Casino Royale. I'm a massive James Bond fan. I saw Casino Royale and he, he stabs that guy in the, in the Bodies exhibition. It's, it's real dead bodies that they've made into statues. And I don't know what they're going to be doing in here, but I, I want to see some dead bodies. And none of my friends would see dead bodies with me. They were like, Ryan, this is weird. I'm not hitting the ground running, I'm taking it kind of slow. 
at these ducks. Ah, look at them. Hey, buddy. Hey. Um, yeah, and I've come here with Mark. Hey, how you going? <laughs> Alright, it's not that disgusting, but it's a little weird, so if you're feeling like I want to skip this, this is the time to go to. Uh, there's also a uh, link in the description down below. Alright, here we go. <laughs> still here at the uh, park where the exhibition was and I was, I was just eating I was thinking what the fuck am I gonna do today like what am I gonna do the rest of my day am I gonna cost some people and see what they're up to no I don't know anybody who lives in the city anymore so but I do need some new shoes Right, there's nothing more park shoe-wise to the city. Been to three stores and um, didn't get any footage of them really. Patricia's giving me a ring, gotta go meet her now. Let's go. My one complaint about this fucking sp these speakers that I've had for, I don't know, over 15 years, these were bought for me. See how this one's nice and clean? That's because food, when I eat at my desk, doesn't splatter. But these ones here get the full brunt of it, and this mesh is impossible to clean. I've always thought, why is the mesh there? I can't clean it. I can't put it in the washing machine. Food has gotten through the mesh onto the speaker. Fuck this, you know, I've been thinking about it for years. What's the worst that could happen? This is what it used to look like to... Had to go to the dentist. Hadn't been in a while. I'm just being a pussy. That's it, I'm just being a pussy. You know, I run like two kilometers straight and I'm just like, I'll go stop, I'll go stop. No, none of that shit anymore. And if I do stop, here's the rule. Here's how you're gonna know that, that I have, I'm being a pussy. I'll take advantage of me taking a break by getting shots of me taking a break. So if you see shots of running in the next bit, that's because I'm a pussy. They said don't have any liquids or anything to eat for like half an hour. This is my first drink for the run and I'm ashamed to say it. My first drink of water for the entire day. I'm, that was a really good run actually considering I haven't drank water. Really good. My shin hurts a little bit. I had that thought when you start to run and you feel one pain. I always have that voice back in my head say, no, no, don't do it right. It's not healthy. And I'm probably correct. But I always shut that shit down because I always just feel like it's the voice in my head that's always telling me not to exercise. They both sound the same. Both voices. They've got that whiny little voice like, Don't run today, Ryan. The wind is strong. Or it's always like, Don't run today, Ryan. Your cartilage is probably getting cut in half. Like, they're both the same voice. How do I tell them apart? I can't. 
let's work out. 